we are walking, we're gonna go eat right now, but look at this. These are brand new car, guys, Stone Jazz. These are brand new car, three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another champ. Welcome back to another channel. What the? F welcome back to another video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Uh, today we are going to be installing the strobe lights on my car, and I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I don't want to waste your time on kind of like the rest of the kind of slash vlog. I try to do vlog and kind of like install just to kind of mix it up. I don't want to be just the install guy, just the car guy. I, I kind of want to do like extra stuff, maybe record a little bit about my life. But you guys can skip to this minute right here. And uh, just so you guys can get some shows, so I don't waste your time. But uh, we're gonna go right now to go check my girlfriend's car real quick. Uh, she got a brand new car, and I I thought I'd record because you know it's it's not every day you get a, a, a new car. You know this you know this is gonna be replacing the car that ultimately got wrecked. I don't know if you guys saw my previous video. Here's a local picture. Yeah, it was kind of bad, dude. But thank God she was okay. And well, we're gonna go pick up her new car. Also, guys, we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea. Uh, I wrote it down on a paper and I'm gonna put it in my in my room just to kind of visualize it and see it. And you guys should do as well with your goals. And uh, I'm just gonna put a count here at the bottom left at the beginning of every video, just so I and you guys uh, kind of track the progress that we're making. And you know. You know, I think it'd be kind of useful. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. Let's go on with today's day. And I'll catch you guys uh, uh, throughout the video, I guess. All right. All right. All right, guys, we're here with my girlfriend. And uh, we're going to, as you guys know, her incident or some of you guys. So now the insurance uh, called her back and, you know, told her the, the amount of money. She uh, she's getting back for our truck, which by the way I thought was way than more than enough money. I think she got a freaking deal. I mean, besides the fact that she's okay, you know, we don't want to wish nothing on accidents or anything, but she got a good amount of money for it. And so today she's gonna go pick up her new car, and uh, she already got a brand new car. The, the other one, the other one didn't crash. It was just a uh, it was having too many problems, right? Anyways, her car was having too many problems. And uh, so she got a brand new uh, Corolla. We didn't we didn't go to that one, but uh, fortunately we're gonna go to this one. Uh, this is gonna be replacing her white truck. You guys seen it in some of the videos. Um, but yeah, she's gonna go see get her brand new car in. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll show it because I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, you don't get a new car every day, and you know when you do, it should be a special moment. So uh, here we go. We're gonna go see her car, and I'll catch you guys there in a minute. All right, guys, we're going to park the whip right here. Looking beautiful in the Toyota dealership. Oh, shit. But there's a Supra over here. We got to go record the Supra. Can't get in trouble, Frank. <laughs> I want to go record the cars. Oh, oh the Supra? Yeah, Actually, some... I bought that black one. Oh, you bought it? No, yeah, did not. Ah, that's <laughs> a... Is that red one over there yours, too? No, I just bought it. These are brand new car, guys. Stone Jazz. These are brand new car. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow. Babe, how do you how do you like your new car? Oh, I love it. I've been wanting it for a while now. Damn. <laughs> Sheesh. There you go. <clears throat> even this one's pretty nice. Yeah. This is. I know it's a Camry. I didn't even think. It's pretty crazy looking. Ah, it's crazy. Okay, some nice design interior. Red, red. Uh, what do you call it? Seat belts. We got a side splitter right here. We got some wheels. We got a front splitter. Okay, how much this is going for? 33? Wait, where is it at? Yeah, 33,000. It's not bad. I, I kind of dig it for the looks. It's not bad. All right, guys, so we got her car. I'm going to show her more of her car uh, once we get home. Uh, right now, we're going to return her rental car that she had for a second, and then we're going to go to her house, uh, kind of show off the car and let you guys know what it is and stuff like that. But, you know, congratulations to her, man. It's pretty sick, man. Uh, like I said, you don't buy a, uh, a car every day. So, I mean, enjoy it, man. Enjoy the moment for sure, man. Regardless of any car, enjoy the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys a little bit by the house. We still got to install the strobe lighting behind my G35. So... 
Yo guys, we're walking, we're gonna go eat right now, but look at this beauty and SVR. Oh my Lord Jesus Christ, what is that? That is goals right there, oh my goodness. Here in Sacramento. <gasps> All right, guys, we're here at the eating place. Just want to talk to you, to you guys a little bit about my car problem. So, you know, we had the issue with the door. Now it seems like the back two are matching, but that one's a little bit unmatched. But it's not as bad as it was before, right? But now we have an issue, guys. Like, you guys look at the car. Let me zoom this up. You guys see right there? Now it looks like it has like a bubble. But, thing is, it doesn't, have a bubble like you know you know it's a bubble because if you squish it it'll stick on and it'll add like this kind of wrinkle around it or you know it'll it'll pop up and down if it doesn't stick you know like you can press it down and up it'll keep coming back up so like i i know what bubbles look like because i've experienced with them a lot but this is not a bubble it's super flat it's stuck on and weird thing is i cannot feel it so I don't know what the freak it is. I don't know if the door was dented or if there's a weird shape to the door. Either we do this thing, we take off the wrap of the door, re-sand it and figure out what the problem is and hope that we wrap when we wrap it again, um, if it, it fixes itself because I do have a little bit of leftover enough to wrap this door. So either I can take it off, leave it, or honestly, I kind of feel like just being done with it. Like if there's, if it is, if it looks like that, I mean, whatever, man. You cannot see it in person, only in certain angles. So I'm kind of just pretty much done with this door. Tone doesn't match, there's a little bubble. I don't know for what freaking reason. And uh, I mean, you, we didn't even see it before, right? So it has to be that, the wrap, but I'm not sure guys. At this point, I'm just kind of done with it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if it tickles your feet, grind your gear, tickle your pickle, it is what it is. You walk up to the car, I mean, you, you, I mean, you look at it, you're like, oh shit, it's pretty nice, you know, whatever. But, you know, I'm just kind of done with it. We're gonna go install some the strobe lighting you guys came here for. Um, <clears throat> saw a couple videos online. So it's kind of different because uh, some installed this inside the white adapter, which I'll show you right now. And some installed this going out to the taillight. So there was differences. But um, some vi the video that connected this to the taillight instead of the white adapter got a little bit of uh, some criticism, I should say. So we're going to go with the other method. And they ended up working. So um, we'll go. We got some clips, flathead, you know. And we're going to strip the wires. We got some electrical tape. We took everything off, right? Just the mats. And there you got two taps here. One there. And one over here. <clears throat> so like I said, the wires right here, right? Usually this this white connects to this white, but since we installed this module, it's right here. But we want this cable right here. Like I said, the white and green, not the red and green, the white, the, the uh, yellow and green. Oh, I'm tripping. The yellow and green and the black. All right, guys. So here's just a clear recap, right? Your clear picture. I still haven't connected it. We, um, I have the module right here. Don't let this, yours, yours should be like this. This should be connected like this. Like it should be connected like this. But since I installed the module, this is kind of in the middle. So this is disconnected. You want to mess with here. The, the cable that kind of goes inside on the left or side, like into the tail light. These are the cables. So like I said, once again, I don't want you guys to mess this up. Green and yellow and uh, and the black one. All right, guys. So here are my emergency lights. These, <clears throat> before it was just like the turn signal. Before it was just like this, uh, like that right just not even this it was just the middle circle right there but now it's the whole thing with the with the other with the module i already have installed all right guys so here we did one side the one that connects into the tail light like i said it's out it's out out into the tail light in into the into this white plastic plug-in um also guys don't forget to uh wrap your cables with the electrical tape all right guys we're gonna try it right now we just he just finished he put all the tape everything we still have to put the cables back in there but it's connected we should see it see the, he's gonna press the brakes see if it works oh yep there it is so that's how it was before and then i'll press it there you go Blinks fast three times, two times slow, and then it gets a solid red light just like the other side. Perfect, that works. All right, guys, we're done here. We're gonna check now both tail lights. I know some of you, some said problems of synchronization. Hopefully we don't have that problem. Oh, there you go. I'll slow one more time. Oh, yep, there you go. There you go, that's sick right there. That's sick. Quieres verlo? Check it out. 
check it out. Check it out. Huh? Waiting for Perry. Say, huh? It's come on Lambo. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you guys so much for supporting. I'll catch you guys next video. Uh, next video will probably be uh, digging under my car. Uh, not digging, literally, but uh, going under my car. Then uh, actually looking at the exhaust setup, what we actually have and what we actually did. Because last time I did that, it was a little unclear. I didn't jack up the car. It was kind of just like squeeze camera under, but it wasn't a clear image. So we're going to dig into that and see why uh, the car sounds like that. And, you know, so you guys can hear the car a little bit more. So I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you guys so much. And uh, have a good day. Peace out, man.